Hey y'all, this video is going to be a little different from any other video I've done before. It is officially a brand new month and I wanted to do a video basically of me talking to myself, my future self in six months. I want to try to do something where I basically make a video talking to myself and stating the things that I want to improve in my life and then six months from the time I make that video I want to look back on it and you know see if I've accomplished any of the things I said I wanted to improve on you know as a lot of you may know mental health is very important and I can't lie I have not been in the best mental state that I could be in um it doesn't help that I just had a baby six months ago. Uh, I'm going, I, would, I wouldn't say I'm going through postpartum depression. I mean, honestly, I don't, I can't really like diagnose myself. Most people, when I talk to them about my situation, well, the people I do talk to about my situations and how I feel, they think it is postpartum depression. So, I mean, I guess you can say I'm dealing with postpartum depression. Um... You know, dealing with being a mom of three, I have three kids, I'm a young mom of three, and dealing with being a mom on top of, you know, trying to get yourself together as far as your mental state, your physical appearance. I'm not the happiest with my physical appearance, like body-wise. I'm very insecure about my body now. And... Honestly, I'm not really insecure about my body. I'm insecure about my stomach. I have a heap of stretch marks on my stomach. I am not comfortable with it at all. If I had the money to get surgery, I would get it. I know people say, love yourself. You know, you made children. You brought lives into this world and you should embrace your tiger stripes. And I agree with it to a certain extent. But if it's to the point where I look at myself and I just do not like how I look, I would change it if I could, you know different people handle insecurities differently like some people don't see it as an insecurity they just see it as a minor flaw and you know everybody is different so you can't tell somebody oh you don't need to get surgery because you brought okay you brought a child into this world you have a reason to look like that okay yeah you're right but if i'm not okay with the way i look I mean, I should be allowed to feel like I would, you know, want to enhance my looks if I decided to go down the surgery route. Um, over time, I have got a little bit more secure with it. I'm not as insecure as I was before with my body. Like, even my close friends don't know how my stomach looks. I'm only comfortable showing my stomach around my mom my sisters my kids and my child's my kid's father so yeah those are the only people that see my stomach regularly other than that none of my friends know how my stomach look um i tell them how it looks like i show them pictures of other people who have a stomach similar to mine but i don't show them like my actual stomach just you know that's basically just a bad story of one of the things i want to work on i do want to work on you know trying to be confident and loving the skin i'm in because regardless of what anybody says i do love myself but i feel like anybody in this world who loves themselves there's always room for improvement with loving yourself so you can love yourself but you can always improve that. You can always take it to the next level with loving yourself. I actually want to get a tattoo that says love yourself because it's something that I do have to like remind myself sometimes. You know, again, with being a mom, you wake up and the first thing you're tending to is your kids. You don't really get to have time for yourself when you have children like I do. So that is one thing I definitely want to work on, you know, actually showing myself self-love more than i do now you know just doing stuff for yourself sometimes go out go take yourself for dinner go you know do your makeup get cute for no reason like you know just do little stuff for yourself i get my days where i'm just super lazy and don't want to do anything 
and I just feel like I'm a robot. I just wake up, take care of kids, and go back to sleep. And I do it over and over again. I don't get vacations. I don't get to really go out with friends. I don't really get to do the type of stuff people my age do because I have kids now. And I'm definitely not complaining at all, but you know, it, it does take a toll on your life and your feelings and your emotions, you know. So my mental state is something I'm working on improving and getting better and you know trying to be happy. I want to work on being genuinely happy because I haven't been happy in a long time. I can't even lie. I have my moments but just overall being happy about life I haven't been happy and I can't even sit here and lie and say I have been. Um, I'm thankful for the stuff I do have. I'm thankful for my kids being alive and healthy, and me as well. But I'm not happy and I want to be happy. Right now, I feel like mm, I'm in a comfortable position, like with my feelings. Like, I'm not mad. Um, I don't know I don't really don't I honestly don't even know how to explain it hopefully in six months I'll be able to really explain my feelings and actually be happy